Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another audio programmer tutorial. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you may remember a live stream that we did about three years ago with Aaron McLaren, who is the head of audio for Unreal Engine. In that live stream, we helped to introduce Metasounds to the world. Metasounds is a node-based creative environment that allows you to create sonic possibilities for interactive technologies and games. And ever since I first saw Metasounds, I really thought that this could be a new path into a future for music technology and the way that we experience audio and sound. Fast forwarding to now, and I've been increasingly taking more time to fully explore Metasounds. And now that I'm really starting to explore it, I think that this is really the future or one of the potential new futures for music technology. I think that people are now starting to become curious about new ways to create and experience music and audio. And I've been absolutely blown away by some of the creative projects that I've seen. I will link some of those below. Coming from a pro audio perspective of DAWs and plugins, I really think that this is uh, where we'll see a future where some of these technologies will, in the future, start to bridge with one another and that we'll start to see some things from the game audio world and from the pro audio world start to merge. And I would really like to be a part of that future. So this is the reason why we're going to start this new series on teaching meta sounds for Unreal Engine. And this is the very first tutorial. In this first tutorial, we're just going to show you how to download Unreal Engine. There's a standard way that you can do this where it comes bundled as a binary download from the Unreal Engine website. But there's also another way where you can install the engine by cloning from the Epic Games repository. This gives you direct access to the engine code that actually makes up Unreal Engine. And I think that that's going to be an exciting possibility for us to be able to dive deeper into what comprises Unreal Engine and see how to create with Metasounds. One thing that I'll tell you is that even though this is still C++ under the hood, it is a huge departure from Juice in a number of ways. The intention is different, the projects are different, the creative possibilities are different. And I will tell you up front that I don't see this as a Juice replacement or a Juice competitor or anything like that, but rather another perspective on where we could go in the future with audio. Okay, so the first First thing we need to do is go to unrealengine.com and sign up for an account. So the way that you do this is you just go up here to the top right to sign in and then down here at the bottom you hit create account. And this will get you started with creating your own account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we are signed into our account on unrealengine.com, and now we need to go over to github.com. If you have a GitHub account, you go ahead and sign in. If you do not have a GitHub account, you need to sign up over here in the top right-hand corner. So for anybody who is unfamiliar with GitHub, it's a way that developers and creators can share code um, and upload code to share with each other. So uh, this is the place where you do it. So go ahead and sign up for an account and I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my own account. Okay, so now I'm signed in and I need to go to the Epic Games uh, GitHub page, which is github.com forward slash Epic Games. And then they have a series of instructions that you need to follow in order to be able to download Unreal Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then scroll down and here are the instructions. So first one is get a GitHub account. We already have that. Open your Unreal account dashboard and then connect GitHub. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Unreal Engine account and then go in here to our account. Then down here, we're gonna go down to apps and accounts and go ahead and click there. And now you have a place where you can connect accounts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here to GitHub and I'm going to hit connect. And then I hit connect account. And then our GitHub account is now connected to our Epic Games account. 
Now what we want to do is fork Unreal Engine. The way that we do this is go back to our account on github.com. Now, if everything is connected properly, what should happen is that when you click on this little arrow beside your name, you should see Epic Games as one of your associated organizations. We're gonna go ahead and click on Epic Games. And now we are coming to the Epic Games page for GitHub. If we go to Browse Organizations Repositories and click on that, now we will see Unreal Engine. So now we're going to click on Unreal Engine to go to this repository. So now that we're on the Unreal Engine repository for Epic Games, the next thing that we need to do is fork this repository. Now I've already made my fork, but to show you how to do this, what you do is you go up here and you click fork. The reason that we're doing this is because Epic Games requires that we create our own version of Unreal Engine that we use that we're able to make changes to. They don't want a situation where we clone the original Unreal Engine from Epic Games, make changes, and then try to push those changes to the main production version of Unreal Engine. Okay, that would be bad. So we need to fork and create a clone or create our own version of Unreal Engine. So the way we do this is click fork, and then what it'll say is create a new fork, and then this is going to go under my own account, and this repository is going to be called Unreal Engine. And then what I could do is I have this option where I can just copy the release branch only. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so that I could actually uh, copy all of the branches and be able to switch between those. And then I'm going to hit create fork. So now it's creating a fork. And what we're going to see here is that we're going to have our own version of Unreal Engine. So this is now an, a version of Unreal Engine that is on our own GitHub account. So now from here, we want to clone this down to our own computers. The way we do this is we go here to this green code section and I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. You can also download the zip that makes it easy as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my own computer. So I'm actually taking the code that is up there on the web and I am now bringing it down to my computer, down to my local machine as they call it. Okay. So the way that we're going to do this uh, is that we will minimize this and then I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal. So terminal, um, and if you're on Windows and you're trying to get set up, we actually have a tutorial on how to get set up using Windows or using Mac. Um, be sure to check those out on, um, on, on our channel page. Okay. So uh, doing a command line tutorial is a little bit out of the scope of this, uh, of this video, but I'll just show you how to do this. So, okay. So I actually have a folder my own folder called development. And let's say that uh, I wanted to put the Unreal Engine um, code within this folder called test, right? So as you can see, I already have my own uh, Unreal Engine here, but let's just say I wanted to put it in test. What I could do is I could just hit CD for change directory, and then I can actually take this and I can drag this like that, okay? That actually works for Windows as well. And so now that I've done that, I want to use the command git clone. And what I'll do is paste the link that I copied earlier from the GitHub website. And now I'm going to clone into this folder. And you'll know that it's working because you'll be seeing this Unreal Engine folder that's been created inside test. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to, to do. Uh, so be patient with it. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I will come right back. So now that we're finished cloning, the next thing that we're going to do is refer to the readme. So reading the readme is a great first step as an automatic thing to do after you've cloned a repository because it normally will give you some additional steps that you need to be able to build the code. So if you scroll down here, there's actually some great documentation for how to do this uh, for Windows and for Mac. Uh, so Windows and Mac are 
pretty similar in terms of what you need to do. Uh, since I'm on Mac in this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to Mac. Uh, I've already done this, so make sure you install Xcode if you don't have Xcode installed for Mac, okay, because you need somewhere where your code is actually going to be um, run. Uh, once again, I have a tutorial on how to do this. It's um, getting started with audio software development for Mac OS. Uh, check that out if you're just getting started. And now what we want to do is go to this step, which is open your source folder and double click the setup.command to download binary content for the engine. You can close it in the terminal window afterwards. Okay, so we want to go to setup.command. So here we go. So setup.command. So this is just a shell command that's gonna open up in our terminal. So we'll go ahead and double click that. And now it's going to run some commands here and I will be back when this is finished. Okay, so now we have done that process and what you'll see at the end is it'll say setup completed once everything is finished. Now we can scroll down to the next step which is that we need to run the generate project files command. Okay, so if you go in here, it's actually a little bit different than what we, uh, what it says here because this is actually a uh, .sh rather than a .command. So what we need to do is we need to, to uh, pull up our terminal window here and we just need to drop this in here and run it. And now it's gonna run some more commands and I will be back once that is finished. Okay, that step is done now. So now I can go ahead and close that out. And then what you're going to see is in your Unreal Engine folder, you'll see some project files here. So here, these are specific to Xcode itself. Uh, so there are a few of them here. The one that I'm going to click on is the Mac version since we're talking about desktop apps here. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this. While that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and just go back to our README and just follow these. So there's a little bit of updating that they need to do here uh, because the names of the targets that you need to build uh, are actually a little bit different than what you see here. But let's let's see what we um, what we got here. So we want to select the shader compile worker, and then we're going to uh, build that. Okay, so now what we want to do is do as the readme says and go down to sh Shader compile worker go ahead click on that as a target So these are what are called build targets, which are building different pieces of the source code So I'm just going to go ahead and select that I'm going to go to product and I'm going to choose build and now I'm just going to wait for this to compile and I will be back when this is finished. Okay, so that worked because uh, what you'll see at the end of that build process is that it'll say build succeeded in the bottom center of your screen. And then next we're going to go to our final step here, which is going to be that we want to now build UE5 uh, as your target. Now, one thing that you'll find is that there actually is no target called UE5. Uh, the target that it wants you to build though is UE, Unreal Game, sorry, not UE, uh, Unreal Game. So go ahead and click on that as your target, hit product, and then hit build. This one actually takes quite a while. So I will be back once that has finished. Okay, so Unreal Game has now built successfully, and now we just need to do one more build target, which is Unreal Editor. So this is the actual Unreal Engine editor that uh, some of you may be familiar with. So we're going to go ahead and build that. That shouldn't take quite as long as Unreal Game. And I will come back after that has built. Okay, so we just got build succeeded. And now what we're going to see is that the Unreal Editor is going to load. So this is going to take a few minutes. So now we see that uh, Xcode is doing some stuff here in the log here below. And Unreal Editor is now loading. So we're just going to wait for this to initialize fully. And I will be back once that's initialized. 
Okay, so now here we are. We have Unreal Engine running. So here I have a project that I created and uh, this is the starting point for us. One thing that I'll show you and the whole reason why we did it this way rather than doing it through just downloading the binary off the Unreal Engine website is that we have this, which is the actual source files. So if you go into Engine and then into Source, uh, this is where we can start digging into um, the actual source code for Unreal Engine. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in our future tutorials. And in our next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to create our first MetaSound and show you how to get started with, um, with MetaSounds and creating your first sound. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to... Uh, listed in the comments below or join our discord group uh, and I will see you next time happy coding